very good morning. Grace and peace be unto you from God the Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is your friend and pastor, Carlo Lord, coming to you from the First Baptist Church of Paraiso, Panama, the Republic of Panama. Beloved, this morning I want us to look at Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. At this time, we'll have the reading of God's Word. Isaiah chapter 6. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this another blessed opportunity that you have granted unto us. I pray, O oh God, that you will bless all listeners. And Father, at the end of this message, help us all to make the right decisions. We ask it in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, in times like these, we need a revival. In times like these, we need a revival. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1, we read, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. I believe those days are here. We live in a troubled world. We see moral slides all over. The countdown has begun. Beloved, I believe it's time for a genuine revival and it must begin in the churches. In chapter 1 of Isaiah, we read of wayward people. Then in chapter 5, woes are pronounced. Then here in chapter 6, Isaiah is revived in such a time. Beloved, here we see a new awareness of the character of God. Verses 1 through 4 of Isaiah chapter 6. The year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. Wow. Isaiah can no more look to the King Uzziah, so he, he, he now looks to God and find out what God is really like. Saints, what God is like, according to Isaiah? Well, here we see that he is all-powerful, omnipotent. We see also that he is all-knowing omniscient and we see also that he is everywhere omnipresent like most of us isaiah had to learn that god is holy 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 this represents the holy trinity whenever we stand before god we are standing on holy ground exodus 3 3 and verse 5 the cross is the supreme example of god's holiness and God has not changed. Revelation 4 and verse 8. Like Isaiah, we too need a new awakening of Christian conscience. 
uh, verses 5 and 6. When Isaiah saw the holiness of God, you know what he said? He said, woe is me. Woe is me. Beloved, what a difference. When we see ourselves measured by God's standard in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 2, it tells us that in the last days, men will speak lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience snared with a hot iron. That means, beloved, that honesty will be hard to find. Listen to Isaiah's confession. He said, I am undone. My lips are unclean. I live in the midst of a people of unclean lips. It sounds like Isaiah was blaming somebody for his uncleanness. Not really. Then listen, Isaiah here was very specific in his confession. This is something that we all need to learn to be specific when we are confessing our sins and our faults to God. But I have good news. God always offer his wonderful forgiveness. Let me repeat that, beloved. When we confess our sins and our faults to God, God always, always offer his wonderful forgiveness. Have you confessed your sins and your faults to God? I trust you have. Then, beloved, when we have seen the holiness of God and has confessed our sins, then and only then we are ready to go and tell others of the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord's question can be heard only by those who had a personal encounter with the Lord. We pray all kinds of prayer, but very seldom we pray, Lord, send me. Beloved, revival produces soul winners, people who care. How many of us are willing to go wherever the Lord sends or leaves? As I close, the Lord's question still sounds. What will your answer be this morning? When our heart is right, we are ready to serve. Beloved, may God richly bless you. May he keep you safe until we meet again. This has been your pastor and friend, Carla Lord coming to you from the First Baptist Church of Paraiso, Panama, the Republic of Panama. All being well, beloved, we trust to see each other on the 17th of October at our 11 o'clock service. God bless you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once more for the opportunity of being able to listen to thy word. Father, your word tells us that faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Help us, O oh God, to keep thy word in our hearts that we will not sin against thee. We ask this with the forgiveness of our sins in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God be with you. When God's people get together, you know that very soon wonderful things are gonna happen as His presence Together again, together again, praising the Lord, praising the Lord. We're together again, together again, in one accord. Something good is gonna happen. Something good is in store.
God's people got together in the upper room. They were waiting on the promise of what Jesus said he would do. And when the Spirit fell from heaven, oh, what joy it did unfold. They were together back. together But this time...